Hey, we're drawing close to the end of the vision. Now let's read Zechariah chapter 4, verses 11 to 14. Then I answered and said to him, What are these two olive trees at the right of the lampstand and at its left? And I further answered and said to him, What are these two olive branches that drip into the receptacles of the two gold pipes from which the golden oil drains? Then he answered me and said, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. So he said, These are the two anointed ones who stand beside the Lord of the whole earth. So all the way back in verse 4, Zechariah asked the angel, Well, what is the meaning of these these two olive trees. And all this, we've been going through all these verses. Here we are up at verse 14 now, and Zechariah, he's got to ask again. And so he very patiently, and I guess if, if I'm interacting with an angel and asking him questions, I think I would, I believe and hope I would do it with great patience. Zechariah asks again. And so he asks again, what's the meaning of these two olive trees? You know, the branches there. And, and now he's going to get an explanation from the angel. So finally, it's coming. Actually, this has all been part of the explanation. But he's kind of focused on that, that business about the trees. So literally, there are two anointed ones, two Mashiachs, two Christos, two anointed ones here. Now, this, they're not Christ. They are the servants of God, Yeshua, Joshua, and Zerubbabel. They are God's servants in this time. They are the ones he has called upon. He has anointed. He sent his spirit upon them. They are the ones that he is using for his purposes. See, Joshua is the high priest. And Zerubbabel is kind of the, the civic leader. And they're in this project to restore the temple and restore Jerusalem. Together, they've taken on this, this, this effectively impossible assignment. I mean, in human terms, it's never going to happen. But they've taken on this impossible assignment. And, and the lampstand does not represent God exactly. The lampstand represents the witness of God's people. So the return of God's people from, from Babylon and from the dispersed places in exile and they're coming back that is part of a witness that god wants to give through his people to the world and he's always calling people by the way today even today you and i are calling us out of babylon calling us out of egypt calling us out of the world out of false religion and as he calls us to to find what his his revelation is in the bible and to live it out let god's spirit work in us transform our hearts as as god does that He's looking for a witness from his people out to the world. And we are called to be his witnesses in this world. We are not just uh, passive bystanders. Like, you know, people want to point the camera. It's always pointed to the cross and Jesus dies on the cross. And we're just looking at that. And, and honestly, that's, that's important. That's good. But it's, it's a mistaken thing if we, if we miss God's purpose, his plan. His plan is that his people will actually have a witness that, that their lives have been demonstrably changed by his spirit. And so God is working for us. God is, is he's showing us what Jesus dying on the cross achieves, where it goes, where it takes us. What's the end result? Does the atonement make any difference or is this just some kind of a legal thing, you know, sign off, a judge can sign off and we're all in the kingdom. It does more than that. There's more than that involved and that's what God is doing. Mm -hmm.